Okay, sup awesome viewers, this is a video for a request from a viewer to know how to set up Razer Synapse walkthrough software. If the mic sounds a little soft, uh, turn off the volume, maybe put some headphones on, and then, okay, here we go. So, first things first, I'm going to provide a link down below to get the software in case if for some reason you cannot find the software. And then after that, download make a profile and I'm just gonna assume you know how to do that so then you're gonna come up to something like like this alright you're gonna have your keyboard here it's gonna be whichever particular Razer RGB product you have and then you go to module you want to do chroma studio so that's the thing I would recommend you can check out the rest if you want that's fine but that's the main thing you want then install restart and to install and then probably gonna skip ahead a little bit towards later on so I'll speed this one up for you okay so after installing you're gonna see Chroma Studio here and the modules then this is when you get to do the lighting stuff so you have you click on the, the little three dots you can see there's ambient awareness which is like i think this is the sound so you save that and then it should do some kind of like in and out kind of effects And then, oh, it's, uh, I think it's, it's that, that, like, game mode where, you know how you play a game and then you pick up a health bar or ammo or something like that? It reacts to the game. That could have also been it. And then there's a couple of lighting effects, you know, fire, which is the one that's pretty popular. The one that a lot of people want. And then you can customize it with different colors. And then, I'm pretty sure there's another thing that you guys really do want is like layers, so I'm going to go over that. Uh, so you have a static, so you have a, a green for the old razor colors, the green there. And then you do a add effect, let's say you want to do ripple, add it in, you highlight. And then you can customize colors, you can get the the pre-made colors make it simple or you can make your own colors however you want to do it and speed go super fast, super slow on press and as you press it your keyboard will react uh, make sure to save it save so then it can start reacting to whatever it is you press so let's say instead of ripple you want to do something like reactive it's the same thing with reactive it's just boom you can randomize it save and then now it's going to be different colors every time you click and press something And say so you want to do starlight on the on the static layer, you can do that. Just make sure to highlight. Make sure to save every single time. Otherwise, it's not gonna work. Then you're gonna be like, oh, what happened? Is that, you know. So make sure to highlight, save, highlight, save. Or let's say if you want to be like a little more creative. Let's say you want this one to be a particular thing. All right, so let's say if I want this thing to be spectrum, all right, I'm gonna add spectrum cycle in, add effect. I only want this to be spectrum. Colors, save, highlight, 
And there you go. So now that's the spectrum. And then let's say if I want wave, all right, I want wave. I want the number pad to be a wave effect. Pick my colors, boom. And then you do random on press, however you want to do it. And then make sure to save, again, highlight, color, select, save. And that's how it's gonna do its own effect there. Then if you want like, oh, audio meter. I think that's the one I was talking about where like it does the sound stuff based on whatever you want to do. So click and save. And now it's gonna react to your sound. Supposedly that should work. Or you auto. Save. And then there's more stuff. This is something that you're going to have to spend time to tinker with. So that's the lighting stuff. And then if you want to do like macro stuff, you can do that. You can disable. You can do some kind of key function. Let's say you can do a key recording and then uh, there we go turbo you do turbo and you can do game mode switch profile switch lightings so you can have different profiles and then you can go to the razor website to download anything like custom lighting profiles, there's like Pac-Man, Matrix. They just still have those in there. And then here are your profiles. You can download some, you can add some. And then Studios, the Chroma Studios. And then you can go to the, the modules. And if you want Amazon Alexa, you can do that. You want to do Chroma Connect. Or hue, macros. I, I I don't even know what nano leaf is. So yeah, you can also do that too. You can make some shortcuts. And overall, like the gist of things is just the tinker, basically. So if you if you cannot get the app to run, then right click run as administrator try that and if you cannot get it to run what are you using wi windows or imac if you're using imac i have no idea because i never have a mac or an apple product in my entire life so i have no idea sorry can i help you now um and that's pretty much it. So if you, for some reason, you cannot get this software to run, either do run as admin or you have to do something with the firewall. So if you have a firewall issue, you can turn it off. See if you can run the software, but you should not. I, I did not. I have Windows 10. So if you have Windows 7, I think it should be better because Windows 7 is like the capability king. Windows 10 is not, but Windows 10 gives you access to like the newer software and newer games and stuff like that. So either way, you're kind of stuck with Windows 10 if you're at Windows 7 now. I, I don't think most people are at Windows 7, to be honest. Most people are probably at Windows 10. So that's pretty much all I can think of in terms of software. It's a lot of tinkering. It's, it's a lot of like messing around with the lightings and then to see whatever floats your boat. So... This way you can customize your keyboard and make sure you match your setup so then you can take pictures and post them online to show off to your friends or to do, do those um, desk setup challenges, whatever. So those other YouTube guys can make videos off of your setup. You can do that too. Um, I guess that's pretty much it. So if you need any other help or things like that, comment down below. Uh, like, subscribe, click the bell for more content. You guys stay awesome.